Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we're working with Divi 5 again today and we're looking at the great new icon list module. Now, I used to build this from scratch using blurb module, which was fine, but they've actually created one for us now, which saves an awful lot of time. It's great for little hero sections like this, or if you've got a contact section, you want to put numbers, addresses, and things like that in there. And I've used it again here for a little price thing. Really nice little module. I'm going to build this little hero section today. Very easy to do. Obviously, no coding involved. So let's get started. I've actually got this page open in my builder right here. Let's get rid of the whole thing. We'll start from scratch. Okay, when you load a new page, it's going to throw in a section and ask you to put in a row. For mine today, I'm just going to add a row with two columns. In the left-hand column, funnily enough, I'm going to use the icon list. There it is right there. And there's a couple more. There's another new one called Group Carousel. We'll be covering that soon. And there is one more, the Lottie Animations. We'll take a look at that too very soon. But I'm going to use the icon list today, obviously. And it throws in two or three for us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of two and three there. And I'm going to style up my first one the way I want it. Then I'm going to duplicate it. It just saves a bit of time doing things that way, I find. First thing I'm going to do, as this is a kind of a hero section we're building right here, is I'm going to go into the section, make it a little bit more interesting by putting an image in there. So I'm in the section there. Background's always under content. Third tab along, you'll find background image. And it's just, I guess we'll use that same crazy car as we used before. Okay, I know you can barely see that in there. Let's go into this column now. I'll give it a background and we'll change the colors so you can actually see that a bit better. And obviously this is going to grow as we add list items. So I'm going to go into my row. We're working on the left-hand column there. Again, background's always under content. First tab's color. I'm going to throw in a black so you should see what we're dealing with right there. But I am going to take the opacity down a bit so we've got a nice hint of the, the car through it, but still able to read the text. Something perhaps like that, maybe even down a little bit more. Great. I'm just going to curve off those corners for aesthetics there over in design. And a border. I think I used 35 pixels before. Just put in 35, hit return. It'll do all four for you if that chain is checked. It is by default. Great, that'll work. Let's go into our little icon list module now and just style this up the way we want it. First thing we want to do is choose the icon that we want there and the color that we want to make it. At the moment, it's a default up arrow. I'm going to use the same for all of mine. Obviously, you can mix and match depending on what you're going on. For instance, when I've done this before with a contact page, you can put telephone numbers, fax numbers, addresses, and things, and use different icons for each of those. I'm just going to use a simple right hand arrow if you want to you can link these i'm not going to link mine i'm not going to have a background but i am going to go over to my design now icon i'm going to make a red seeing as it's a red car obviously a little bit brighter red than that one let's try that i'm sure that's fine that'll work i want it to be a little bit bigger let's say 40 picks obviously adjust the taste just type in 40 and hit return it'll put picks in by default if you want to use another setting such as percentage m rem viewable width view or height etc you can just choose it from the drop down here i need to make a video about some of these i've had a few questions on those i will do that as soon as i remember to do it okay now the text itself that's the body text i'll make it so we can see it i will make it nice and white. And again, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Let's, I think I used 22 before, 22 pixels. Again, just type in 22, hit the enter key. There it is. I also want to make it uppercase. I think I may have made it bold before. Let's try it and see what it looks like. I think that's okay. Now I've got the first one kind of like I want it. I want to go back into my column here. Just add a little bit of padding. And then we'll add more icon items. So back into the row. We're working on that first column there. You always find spacing under design. There we go. See padding top and bottom. I had about 60 on the top. Again, just hit the return. And we'll do the same for the bottom. I want perhaps 30 on the right and left. 30. I'm going to hit the chain. Perfect. That's going to work for me. Great. Well, let's add a few list items. 
know how to do that, we'll go back into our icon list module. Now we've got the first one styled up the way we want it. I'm going to duplicate it for however many we want. That's great. Fantastic. Now we need to go into these and add the actual text that we want here. So I've got a little list. I'm going to go into the first one. What I'm going to do is change that. Pasting it in there. Control C to copy from my list. We'll go into the second one. Rinse and repeat. Control V to paste it in there. I'm going to pause the video now. I'm going to go down and do exactly the same for these. There's no point in you watching me do that. Great, I've just done the last one. Fantastic, back to my icon list. Now to me that's looking a little bit wide. So we can go into the column and shrink it down a little bit. Maybe as if it was three. Let's try that. At the moment it's set to a half. Let's sell it to a third. That's great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this row full width. And in a minute, I'm going to use a bit of flex to have this align how I want it on all devices. So in the row, I'm going to go to design, sizing. Here we've got the width. I'm going to type 100 in there and hit return. It's a percentage on the end. This one, max width, I need to type 100 and a percent sign and then hit return. Now we've got a full width row. That's fantastic. I want to add a little bit of padding either side and a bit of spacing on top. So while we're in the row, we can close that sizing. Spacing, again, is always under design. Now we're going to use padding. I think I put about 80 pixels top and bottom. So just type in 80 again, hit return, hit the chain for the bottom. Perfect. And I'm actually going to use a percentage for the left and right purely when it shrinks down on smaller screens. That will get it, give it a similar size on each screen. I'm going to just use five and the percent sign. Hit return. Looks about right. As you can see, it's put the percent sign in there. Just hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. Great. Well, that's shaping up nicely. Now with our second column, what I did is I added a little title. And like I say, I'm going to adjust this with a bit of flex in a minute. So let's use a heading. We great gave this crazy car a name. These are just made up names. Call it the Vortex Striker. Don't want to link it. Don't want to put a background on it. Don't want to loop it or anything like that. I'm going to go straight over to design. It's a heading. Yeah, if heading one may be okay. I'm going to actually change it to a heading two. Heading one should really be the main title for everything on the page, which I guess if this is just about this car, that would be fine. I'm going to use a blocky font I've been using before up here called Anton. I'm going to make it white and color, funnily enough. So we can actually see it. I'm going to make it very big. Let's try 80. I think that's what I used before. But again, I want it to break. So I really want this column to be the same size as this one. Like I say, we can sort out the spacing with a bit of flex in a minute. So you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to go into our row again. I'm going to go into our second column. This is our second column. I'm going to go to design, sizing. At the moment, it's a half. I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to make it a third of what we've got going on there. As you can see, that's broke that into two words. Just what I wanted. Perfect. And if I go back into this module now, I want this to be aligned in the middle. Perfect. Now what I did, I went down. Under our little title there, I added another little icon list. And again, I only want one in there. This time, for the icon, I used a dollar sign. There it is right there. And what I did, just to be cheeky, is I went into our original here, right-clicked on any of them, copy item styles. Let me go back into the one that we just created here. I'm going to go into our new one. I'm going to right click on this one, paste item styles. Now, all one is to have that say get the latest price. So we know how to do that. Again, I want this in the middle. So I'll go design. We can do that with sizing. Here's the alignment down here. Fantastic. Okay, well, here's the fun part. 
I'm going to go into this column. I'm going to make sure that title's at the top and that the price is at the bottom. So let's go into the red. I'm going to go into this column. I'm going to go to design and layout. This is where we can use our nice flex. It's already selected flex for us up here. What I'm going to do though is I want this one. I want space between. And that's pushed that one down to the bottom and made sure this one's on the top. But also, because we've got all this space over here, if you like that, that's fine, just leave it like that. But I want this one to be on this side. I want all of this to be over this side. We can do that again with some flex very easily. If we go into the row this side, the green tab for the row, again, design, layout, we got our flex selected up here. I'm going to use this one space between horizontally let's push this over here and that over there absolutely perfect now that's working out for us nicely let's check it on tablet and mobile make sure we don't need to do anything so i'm going to go to tablet view now and on tablet view this is too small so what we can do with this we can change this back to a half on tablet which should make it perfect size so that's column one, content, column one, design and sizing. I'm going to change this from a third to one half again. Great. I'm actually going to do the same for this one too. So if we go back, go to column two, design, sizing. We're a third. We want to change that to a half again. Brilliant. Let's take a look on tablet. Great. Well, we've got that, that and that. But I may want this the other way around on tablet. I may want the title at the top and then the price or something like that. We can change that around with a bit of flex too. Go into the row itself. Design, layout and the flex. It's already got it right there. We can change the direction with layout direction up here. If I flip it around. We've got the title, then that. And then our details there. If we go back to tablet, we've got this. If we go back to desktop, we've got this. Absolutely perfect. So if you've done everything correctly, it should work perfectly. Let's save draft, publish if you're ready, and we'll preview our changes. And here we have it. Vortex Striker, you can get the latest prices. I didn't put a link in there. You can put a link in there if you want them to get the latest price. I'm sure you know how to do that, but for any poster that doesn't, I'll quickly go in here. You always find link if you go into the actual icon icon itself. You can link each one to a separate one. You'll find link under content here, and you can go ahead and put in the link right there. Just put in a hashtag for a placeholder. And on my original, I actually had a different color when they hovered over the icon itself. I'm sure you know how to do that. But for anybody that didn't, if we go over to design and the icon itself, there's the color that we gave it. To create any kind of hover effect, you should go up to the top here, little screen type icon there, desktop, left click on it, go to hover down here. You can change any of these settings on hover. Let's just change it to a yellow or something crazy when they hover over it. It's orangey, yellow or something there. That'll work fine. Now you've done that, we don't need to save or anything. We can just flip back to desktop. We need to save the draft and then re preview. And now when I hover over this, it's going to light up like that. I think I did the same for our ones over here. And again, you know how to do that. If you wanted to right click on this in the builder, you could copy the stars and put them over here, get all of those done at once. Really easy. So there's how to create a little hero section using the fantastic new icon list module. Really like it. That's a real time saver. Like I say, Divi 4, we could do that with blurb modules, but they've saved us a lot of time by adding that one, which is great. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.